Today's video is made possible by Hulu Plus. For a free extended two-week trial, head over to huluplus.com slash TLD. Hey guys, Jonathan here with TLD, back with a desk and setup tour. This was inspired by MKBHD's setup tour project for 2014, but this has been highly requested for the past few months, so I'm happy to finally bring it to you. Now, I think obviously the foundation of any desk and setup tour, of course, is a desk. This is the Galant from Ikea. There's actually a few different configurations you can set up. This is a two-piece setup. So of course, there is the first piece in the left-hand corner, followed by the bulk of the table, the body, which you can see here. And actually before this video, I had a third piece that actually extended out right here, but I recently just kind of took everything apart, took that off just to keep it simple and less cluttered. So I guess it makes sense to go from right to left. And if you guys do miss anything, I'll have everything that I covered in this video and even things that I didn't feature linked down below. So first up is the very well-recognized Homer Simpson doll. And yes, he is not wearing any pants. He is in a bath towel. And actually up until this point, anytime anybody would ask me where I got him from, I had no idea because it was a gift. But recently I actually found him. So again, he is linked down below. You guys can pick one of these up if you want. Now, of course, along with Homer, he is wearing some skull candy, Derrick Rolls, Bulls headphones, and these are completely aesthetic. I don't use these for listening at all. They just kind of compliment Homer and go with the fact that I like the Bulls. Next up, I'm sure you guys have also seen the zombie in previous videos. You guys have asked what that is. This is the Walking Dead Limited Edition Season 2 Blu-ray. So we've got the screwdriver to the eye, and this actually acts as a lock. So if you pull it out, you actually can't lift it up. It stays locked, and if you kill a walker, bam, right in the eye, he's dead. Opens up, and there's the Blu-ray. So right next to that guy is Season 3. And I'm not sure, but those to me look like Michonne's dudes. If you guys agree, let me know with a comment down below. Above that is a little android guy and Batman. Those will also be linked down below. And of course, how could we forget Mr. Walter White, a.k.a. Heisenberg. He's a little bobblehead guy. And what's cool is these little glasses actually come off. Let me see if I can get a little closer for you guys. Bam. So next up is actually my desktop speakers and I get questions on these all the time. Pretty much every single video that these are viewed in, I get asked, what are these? And these are actually the Focal XS 2.1s. They're a little on the pricier side in comparison to other desktop speakers, but hands down, they are my favorite set of desktop speakers that I have ever owned. Now, before I picked these guys up, I actually only used studio monitors, which you'd use for audio production, but I wanted something smaller, more compact, and I absolutely love these things. I don't think they would fully replace a desktop monitor or audio monitor setup, but for basic audio editing and video, these things have served me great. So as the name implies, it is a 2.1 setup. You got one speaker on the right, one on the left, and the subwoofer is hanging down there in the bottom corner. And jumping back to the desk, these are the Sennheiser RS180 wireless headphones. If you guys are in the market for a killer set of wireless headphones, I absolutely love these guys. You can see it has a built-in charge station, so just take it off. Set it back, it's charging. Pull these off real quick. They're extremely, extremely comfortable. You can see how padded they are. And they have killer sound quality for a wireless set of headphones. So again, if you are looking for one, I can wholeheartedly recommend these guys. Now, some of you may recognize this guy. This is the Apollo Twin by Universal Audio. I just covered this on the channel a couple weeks back. I actually just got this one in for review. So this is gonna let you record guitar, bass, vocals, along with their killer plugins. So I'm super excited to test it out and put it through its paces. So definitely stay tuned and subscribe if you are interested in something like that. Now, this guy right here is my favorite mouse ever. The Logitech Performance MX, once I use this, I couldn't go back to a Magic Mouse or any other mouse like this. It is hands down my favorite mouse to use. Now behind the Apollo Twin is the Galaxy Note 3. I've actually been using this a lot lately. So if you guys are interested in some coverage on that, even though it's been out for a couple months, let me know by hitting that like button. Next to the Note 3 is a little Derrick Rose pop figure. His knees are okay, luckily. And even though the Bulls lost the Rose for the season, they are making me extremely proud to be a Bulls fan. So I'm gonna move him out of the way for just a second. We have a Lassie Rugged Thunderbolt drive and also a SanDisk USB 3.0 thumb drive, which I use all the time. This thing is super, super awesome. So I'll go ahead and put this guy back right here. I actually have the Thunderbolt cable from this hooked up to the Apollo Twin right now. So Derek Rose back in spots. And next to that is a Kingston SD card reader. This is USB 3 since the Mac Pro hanging out right here. Doesn't have an SD card reader. This is filling the spot for that. Below that is a Western Digital I believe this is a one terabyte USB 3.0 drive and I kind of just switch back and forth between this cable right here and behind these two 
is an Apple Airport Express, which I use actually as a Wi-Fi extender to the extreme, which is located in another room. Now getting back to the Mac Pro, this is actually a different Mac Pro than you guys have seen on the channel. This is actually my custom order that finally came in, the 8-core D700 model. So definitely look out for comparisons of this versus the 6-core and also versus the iMac. Those are coming very soon. But in the meantime, if you guys miss any coverage on the 6-core or comparisons against the iMac, I will have that also linked down below. Now, in conjunction with the Logitech mouse, I also use the Apple Magic Trackpad. I use it on the left-hand side just for gestures and swiping left to right, zooming in and out and things like that. My keyboard is the Logitech K750 wireless solar-powered keyboard. So it'll actually use the light within the room and power itself, and you never, ever need to change batteries. Another thing that I really like about this guy is the fact that it has a built-in number pad. So some keyboards are smaller, they're more compact, but they're missing the number pad. So I don't mind giving up a little bit of that compactness for the flexibility of having the number pad built into the keyboard. Moving on up, right now I have the Mac Pro hooked up to Apple's Thunderbolt display. And even though it's not 4K and it is in dire need of an update to complement the Mac Pro, for me it's the best option right now. And I still love this display. Now to the left of that is my late 2013 MacBook Pro. This is the 2.3 gigahertz GT750M model with 16 gigabytes of RAM. Not only do I use this on the go obviously, but if something's being used with the Mac Pro and rendering, I can also use this as secondary production. I have the Thunderbolt cable actually close by behind the Mac Pro. So if I wanted to, I'd actually switch back and forth and use this with the Thunderbolt display. Behind that is a pair of Bear Dynamic DT990 Pro headphones. Kind of a headphone junkie. Below that is a coffee mug that I actually use for various things, guitar picks, SD converters, headphone adapters, and just kind of miscellaneous stuff. Scissors, pens, markers, got the Nexus 7, iPad mini, this is the LTE Verizon 64 gigabyte model. Got a little container back there. More headphones right here. These are the Bear Dynamic Custom 1 Pros. These are killer headphones. And I actually just got the Audio-Technica ATH-M50Xs. A couple iPad cases right here, just miscellaneous cables here. This is where I keep all the product. So you can see I'm not going to go over everything, but this is the box to the Apollo Twin. We got the Sony RX100 MK2 box right here, which I'm actually using to shoot this with. It's an absolutely awesome camera. We got the box to the G-Ray Thunderbolt, which is actually what I'm using for my storage right now. Hooks up to the Mac Pro for obviously a RAID setup in Thunderbolt. We got the blue baby bottle H6 recorder, Sony PCM-M10. This is also another awesome product. MacBook Pro box, some crucial memory, a couple backup batteries, rocking on 35mm lens box, Mac Pro box, and just a lot of technology going on. This is kind of in the queue right here. This is the box of those Audio-Technicas. I'm a Lions fan. In addition to being a Bulls fan, I'm the weirdest sports fan you will ever meet. Galaxy Note Pro 12.2 just got this in, so definitely stay tuned for coverage on this. So we got a GoPro box, some phone boxes, Nexus 5, Note 3, iPhone 5S, Leap, which I actually haven't got a chance to cover yet. Another Bulls hat, so if you guys haven't guessed yet, I am a Bulls fan. Little LED light, Android guy with a broken antenna. He's injured in action. This guy right here I actually forgot to show you is the Sennheiser MKH-416 shotgun mic. Absolutely killer mic. Love the quality out of this guy. I use it for all of my voiceovers. I think that just about wraps up the project tour. We got some guitars on the wall. And the funny thing is those lights are about 25 bucks from Home Depot and I haven't upgraded those. So through all the years, through the camera upgrades, through the audio upgrades, I haven't upgraded lighting yet. So that I think is on my list for 2014. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did... Make sure to leave a giant thumbs up. It helps the channel and is much appreciated. And before I hop out of here, I want to quickly give a huge shout out to Hulu for help making this content possible. Now, I know most of you guys being on the interwebs know what Hulu is, but Hulu Plus ramps up the awesome and it's kind of like upgrading to an HD screen on your smartphone or tablet for the first time. With Hulu Plus, you can catch up on the entire season of currently airing shows. You can watch old favorites or even a movie. You can stream as many TV shows or movies as you want anytime, anywhere. So whether that's your PS4, your Xbox One, your Roku, Hulu Plus has a huge selection of shows like Saturday Night Live, Jimmy Kimmel, and of course, Shark Tank. They also feature exclusive original content like Behind the Mask and The Wrong Mans, and they were nice enough to reach out to me and offer those who watch TLD a free extended two-week trial by heading over to huluplus.com TLD. Now, a lot of you ask, how can you help support the channel? This is a super simple and easy way to do that. It allows us to put out the best possible content that we can and just score a killer deal at the same time. Make sure to use that link down below to let them know what we sent you.